we have a big iPhone announcement in two days. Apple stated in that letter last week that tariffs would hit the Apple Watch, AirPods, Apple Pencil, HomePod, Mac Mini, and various adapters and chargers. The iPhone itself doesn't look to be affected so far, at least in the United States. But here, the biggest risk might not even be the tariffs themselves. The Chinese government could make the iPhone harder to buy in China. Now, if trade tensions worsen with China, there's really money at stake here for Apple, a lot of it. In fiscal 2017, Apple booked $45 billion in sales in greater China, which was roughly 20% of total global revenue. That's up from $12.5 billion and 11% of global revenue when Tim Cook took over the CEO job seven years ago. Apple now lists 41 retail stores in mainland China and six more in Hong Kong when Tim Cook took over. It was a knockoff market, frankly. Uh, on the one hand, there's no company better positioned to weather this kind of a trade storm than Apple. It has a trillion dollar market cap, quarter trillion dollar cash hoard, huge profit margins, and a loyal customer base. But on the other, Apple's arguably the most high profile company in the world. And it got that way by bridging the U.S. and China like no other company has. It could be a convenient punching bag if either side wants to make a point. And that includes President Trump. He tweeted that the easy way for Apple to avoid tariffs would be to move manufacturing to the U.S. Well, not only would that not be easy, it's not remotely practical. The supply chain and the engineering exper uh, expertise don't exist here in the U.S. to make those products. And the assembly jobs that come with today's manufacturing process, they don't pay that well, guys. And a phone that already costs a lot of money would probably be multiple times what it currently costs, even at the highest end. I mean, in terms of the actual profit, John, you know, Gene Munster came out with a note this morning saying that if the tariffs go into effect right now, impacting the products that you had outlined, it would be a neg less than a 1% negative hit to fiscal year 2019 profit. So not really huge. The qualitative uh, tit for tat that China could engage in, though, could really impact uh, Apple, as you mentioned, the supply chain is, is all over there. Yeah, it, it could potentially affect product getting out of China. Mm -hmm. It could affect consumers' access to product in China. You know, people like to watch how a new iPhone does in all the major markets. For the past few years, China has been one of those major launch markets for the iPhone. If for some reason they didn't have the approvals to get these phones in front of consumers at the time that Apple wanted, that could affect at least perceptions of Apple's performance. Interesting.